So you might be updating your Windows 10 and all of a sudden you see this kind of error. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix this one easily. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com where you could buy legit software, games, and license keys. Just go ahead and search for the games or software you're looking for, hit the buy now button, and simply enter the coupon code DUDE20 to save up up to 20% from your purchase. After paying, you will now immediately receive the key on your account and be able to activate your software or license key. Alright, going back, let's now go ahead and go to our desktop. Alright, now that we are on our desktop, let's now go ahead and first go to our start menu and go to this settings button on our start menu. It will show you this window. Simply just go ahead and scroll down until you see this update and security setting. On the left panel of the update and security window, go ahead and look for this troubleshoot button. Go ahead and click on additional troubleshooters and then click on windows update and hit the run the troubleshooter. If the issue that you might be encountering is just a simple matter, then this tool will most probably be able to solve your problem. And after you're able to see this prompt, troubleshooting has completed, go ahead and try again updating your system. And if that still didn't work, we can go ahead and try another solution. Go ahead and go back to your start menu and look for command prompt. Right click the command prompt app and make sure to run it as administrator. Then type this on the command line. So you'll be able to see the Windows update service is stopping. Next, type in here net stop. USO SVC then type in here net stop crypt SVC we need to also stop this service net stop bits so if ever you encounter this background intelligent transfer service is not started you could just basically ignore that one and lastly we need to also stop this service MSIS server so if you again encounter this error or a prompt that says the Windows installer service is not started, we could just go ahead and proceed to the next step. The next step is to open a folder on our computer and then navigate through our Windows folder. So I have my Windows installed on my local disk C. So go to Windows and then look for software distribution. You'll be able to see here this software distribution folder. Go ahead and click on it and rename it to dot all you'll be prompted with folder access denied as this is a system folder so make sure that you are on a administrator account go ahead and click on the continue button and it will then allow you to rename that folder after we were able to rename the software distribution folder to dot old we can now go ahead and close this window and then go back to our command prompt and we are gonna be enabling back the services that we have just stopped a while ago so type in here first net start w a u s r v so next we need to restart the update orchestrator service go ahead and type in here net start uso sbc and you'll be able to see here the requested service has already been started again we could ignore that one that only means that the service that we are trying to start is already running we can now go ahead and proceed to the next service which is net start crypt svc so if you encounter this the service name is invalid what you need to do is to recheck the name of the service right now i have encountered this error since i've misspelled this one so we're going to be typing that back again net start crypt svc and there we go we were now able to see the requested service has already been started next we can now go ahead and restart the bits service which is the background intelligent transfer service and we were able to restart them successfully. And lastly, we need to start the MSIS server. And there we go. After doing all those stuff, we then need to restart our computer and go ahead and try checking whether your Windows update is already working. So that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you out fix or sort out this problem on your Windows 10. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and also hit that like and subscribe button for more tech stuff in the future. Again, it's your tech edit here. See you in my next tech videos.